everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we we are having a mini project. This is a uh, Among Us. Uh, I think it's a very famous game right now. I didn't play it, but my friend playing it. So today we're gonna make this Among Us keychain. And in the tutorial, I'm gonna use this uh, double knitting yarn that I got from a home bargain store so it's 99p and we can now we can see the different this is my usual eagle knitting yarn i'm going to use the same size of the hook which is 3.5 and we will see if he turning out the same size or not i think it should probably turning out the similar size okay so let's get started this is going to be a very short tutorial compared to my other tutorial. So consider this as a mini project. So we're going to start with, uh, we're going to start from foot up to the head. So we're going to start with one leg first. Uh, six single crochet into the circle you can do magic ring whatever you want just start the first round with single crochet six of them in the circle so i'm gonna do six single crochet uh, no i'm gonna do two chain first so one chain and two chain and six single crochet into the first chain because we have to make two legs, if you miss the first leg, you have another chance <laughs> to look at the, another leg. So two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet. And if it's this video playing too fast, you just go to the setting on the corner of the videos and set the playback speed into like 0 0.5 or 0 0.75. Where are we? Four single crochet. Five single crochet and six single crochet. Now we have six single crochet. We're gonna do slip stitch on the first stitch that we make. So slip stitch here on the first single crochet that we done. Slip stitch. One chain to start the next round. And next round we are going to work on back loop only so normally when you insert the hook you insert it like that pass through both loop but in this round we're gonna work on the back loop only like that but we're not gonna hook it here we're gonna hook it on the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier so it's a bit, little bit hard to see but yeah we're gonna hook it through here back loop only and single crochet so one single crochet oh single crochet into each stitch all around black uh, back loop only next we're gonna do single crochet at the back loop only and all around for six time we're doing this so the the foot can be flat one single crochet and the last single crochet if you twist it out like that showing the right side and slip stitch on the first single crochet that we done earlier so we slip stitch there one chain to start the next round gonna have our mini leg okay one uh, next round we're gonna do one single crochet all around so in total of six so one single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet Five single crochet and six single crochet. 
and slip stitch to close the round now we've uh, we are finished one leg we're just gonna cut this off right there where's the scissor so we're gonna cut this off and and fast enough putting this inside You're not gonna use this anymore, so I'm just gonna stuff it in the in the leg. There, and we're gonna and we're gonna repeat everything to make another leg. So six, repeat everything, <laughs> six single crochet into a circle. So I start with two chain and six single crochet into the first chain. So one, two, three, four, five, and six slip stitch to close the round slip stitch on the first single crochet that we made slip stitch one chain to start the next round and if you are having a little bit big hole just put it and now the hole is closed and next we're going to do a single crochet into each stitch back loop only so single crochet and to the back loop only here one and back loop only in total of six times so one single crochet for each stitch going around and before we slip stitch to close the round showing the right side out and slip stitch on the first single crochet that we crochet earlier slip stitch one chain to start the next round and single crochet into each stitch all around so one single crochet one single crochet all around uh, six times so i think this is four i think Five and six and slip stitch to cross the round okay after finishing this round we're not gonna cut the yarn but we're gonna connect these two legs together by doing uh, one chain so we slip stitch right and then we do one chain and slip stitch on the second leg uh, i suggest doing that on the end of the round which is here but if you don't know where it is and you already like you know secure everything like that anywhere it's fine anywhere it's fine so slip stitch to connect two leg together and one chain to start the next round now we have two leg connect together with a little gap between leg like that and next round we are going to do single crochet into each stitch so we have six single crochet here and six single crochet here with one chain connecting so in total of 14 so 6 and 6 to 12 13 and 14 we're gonna do single crochet on this uh, chain that we 
bridge the lake as well. So one single crochet all around for 14. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we finished six. Next we're gonna do single crochet on the chain here. So seven and eight on the second piece. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen on the chain here. Where is it? 14 here on the chain and slip stitch to close the round like that so next round is one uh, one chain to start the next round and we're just gonna do single crochet all around until we got the uh, around this height which is to round nine so one single crochet into each stitch uh, oops, 14 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen and slip stitch to close the round and repeating this until we got to round nine. So I'm gonna speeding up and I will see you at the end of round nine. And slip stitch to close the round. One chain to start the next round. Now we are at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Finish round nine. Next round we are going to decrease. So okay, the the cam battery, the camera battery is running out again and I'm not sure where it's cutting off so I'll just finish round 9 here actually I already finished round 10 <laughs> I'm gonna redo the round 10 again so we already do one chain to start this round so in round 10 we are going to decrease it a little bit so one single crochet and then decrease so one single crochet and then decrease in order to decrease you hook the hook through and then hook another one in the next stitch and yarn over all at the same time that's decrease 
one single crochet and decrease or single crochet two together as it said in the pattern on the screen so one single crochet single crochet two together one single crochet and decrease then you will have a uh, two remaining stitch which happen because we have the link over here so basic i would just do one single crochet into the remaining two so one single crochet and slip stitch to close the round slip whoops slips <laughs> why is not going in slip stitch okay slip stitch one chain to start the next round and before we start the next round i'm just going to stuff the fibers in here and because this one is a small ornament we don't need much fibers I'm just gonna stuff the fibers in here Next round, we are just going to do decrease. So five, decrease, five, uh, single crochet two together, five time all around, or decrease all around. So two single crochet two together, also called decrease, and just doing this all around. And be careful not to hook the fibers outside. <laughs> so, so, decrease all around. And itch. decrease. And decrease. Slip. Did it? Yes. And slip stitch to close the round. So by slip stitch here, you we are mostly close the whole thing, but we still have a small remaining hole right here. And leave some length of yarn. Leave a lot if you're gonna uh, if you use a different type of chain for the ornament. This one is the. This one have the hook here, so it doesn't need that. So slip stitch. No, not slip stitch. <laughs> Fast enough. Fast enough here. And if you end up with very big hole here, you can sew in to close. But I don't have that big hole right here. Squeeze it a little bit to separate the fibers inside. And we have because the uh, because the yarn is different, even though we use the same hook, so we end up with a little bit bigger, but actually very similar, but a little bit bigger. Okay, next we are going to do the the package in the back. I know in the game it is square, but this is small. We don't need to be make it to be like exactly square. Before closing that. We're gonna do the here the backpack. Uh, we are going to start with four chain. So one chain, two chain, three chain, and four chains, and then half double crochet into the second chain from the stitch. So half double crochet into the second chain from the stitch like that and this is half double crochet 
and we do another half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet and four half double crochet into this stitch or chain so four half double crochet into here one two of half double crochet three and four half double crochet and one half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet here and three half double crochet into the last stitch so three half double crochet here so one half double crochet this is two half double crochet and three half double crochet and slip stitch over here to the first stitch that we do so slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round so next round we just uh, we're going to do one single crochet all around so one for each stitch but in back loop only we have a lot of back loop in this pattern so back loop only into the same place that we do slip stitch earlier we hook only at the back loop one single crochet back loop only here one single crochet back loop only one single crochet just repeating this all around one single crochet and one single crochet it should have uh, we should have 10 I think but I didn't count <laughs> so back loop only there and before we slip stitch to close the round we show the right side out and slip stitch at the first single crochet of the round slip stitch and leave some length of yarn this is for sewing so you can leave quite a bit cut the yarn fast enough and now we have a backpack which look like that and we're just gonna sewing it to the back next is what's it the goggle the goggle <laughs> i sewing this a little bit uh, slant it's not straight and hopefully i'm doing better with this the blue one uh, next is where's the white yarn okay white yarn now this is a this will be a little bit tricky on the blue one because this one is a little bit smaller as you can see but we're gonna use the same hook anyway so it should roughly the same size for the goggle we just going to do four chains so one chain two three and four then single crochet into the second stitch from the hook which is here single crochet and then single crochet into the next the next two so one single crochet and another one single crochet and that's it for the goggle leave quite a bit quite a bit of yarn and now we're gonna sew everything together fasten off I'll, because it's not actually proportion here as you can see left and right is not actually the same 
so we leave quite a bit of white yarn if the sewing doesn't look good we can kind of embroidery to you know cover the mistake um where's that Okay, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna start with closing this hole. Let's hook it to Now we are finished Now you can put the, the keychain into it like which whatever type you want and this is not a good way to do that with oops this is not a good way to do this with hand you can hurt your finger and you can break your nails but I don't know where I put the the tools so I'm just gonna do it bare hand put it here okay perfect now we have two of the Among Us ornaments and we can make it into a rainbow color thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next videos and thank you for over 27,000 subscribers and for anyone who is just coming in and still didn't subscribe I am on uh, I having a goal of help <laughs> I'm trying to get 30k uh, 30,000 subscribers to enable the join buttons so if you're not subscribed yet please click subscribe and like the video if you like this tutorial comment down below what do you think of it and what do you want me to make next and see you again in the next videos I'm trying to upload it every month from now and see you again mm -hmm.